Get ready to level up your core where I'll end up helping you find every hidden chest in Armor Core 6. So let's get started. We're going to be entering Infiltrate Grid 086. This one has a total of four chests and I'm going to walk you straight through it. First one is going to be after defeating the not so invincible Remy. Then you want to travel to the second open area. This is going to be where you find the head part. So this one's really easy to find. As you enter the enclosed area and drop through the torn hole, there will be two weak mercs kill them and then check the back corner and you will find the head part. All right, now we have the second chest. This one is not far away. It is shortly after the first one. So keep making your way through the anterior until you reach the second room and jump down. And there's a couple enemies in the chest. And once you open it, some enemies will come out also. Okay, next one, very close from the second one we found. All you gotta do is go back up to the melting furnace. There is a little hole on the left from the furnace jump straight through that and that will lead you to the next chest also once you open that up a enemy will come out and you have to fight him also after grabbing your third chest let's head down to the door marker where your next waypoint is this will open the next large explorable area prepped with enemies for you head up to the right to the higher right side platform near the back the second you get there you'll find two enemies waiting to ambush you for the fourth chest container Tunnel Sabotage is our next quest, and it currently only has one chest where you'll find the Nebula Plasma Rifle. Enter the tunnel, and once we hit that second wave point, bridges across it, instead of going forward and deeper down the cave, look up, go on top of that bridge, and you'll see a lot of enemies there, and it'll lead you to the next chest. All right, next place is the floating city. This place only currently has one chest and this one's pretty easy to find. I would say once you get to the second objective where you'll find generator by itself in a big circle, I want you to fly to this building and this is where the chest is because I really couldn't tell you like how to get through all this, but that second generator will be your checkpoint to find your chest. Next mission is Eliminate Honest Brute. This place has a total of three chests here. And the first one we're gonna find is the Double Trouble Chainsaw. So, it's the beginning of the mission, soon as it starts, just jump down. You'll find this one in this direction of area. The next one, once you grab that, head to the checkpoint. There'll be a couple enemies there. After defeating that, look to your right. There's like a pathway to a bridge there. Just take that all the way there and you will find the booster. And then the last chest is after you go through the guy that has the bubble shield up. After you defeat all of them and jump down the hole. As soon as you jump down there you'll see a couple lasers. You'll see the last chest right there and this will be the bad cooking flamethrower. All right, the fun stuff. So the next mission is the Underground Exploration Depths 1. Uh, this place only has one chest, and this one's actually really easy to find. Once you get past getting destroyed by those lasers, once you get to the, the second wave point, basically, uh, you'll see a chest in the very far back. You really can't miss this one. Next is the Underground Depths 2. So, after you defeat Agazu, you will enter a long vertical cave and you'll make your way to the chambers. Then there's a boss that's actually shooting at you. Just follow that path to the chamber. Uh, there's going to be a locked door, but if you take a right in this corner, you'll see the chest, but you just got to fend off the mercs that's there. Once you're done with that, the second chest, we're going to go back down to the ventilation dust. Uh, once you get in there and take the jump pad up, you should see a a couple lightning enemies or paralyzing enemies right there and the chest will be right there and that is the second one that you need all right next mission is the coral convention this place only has one of the chests and this is the moonlight blade one of my favorite parts of the game also you will be dealing with some acs in the beginning but once you get to this really big bridge you either can cross that and jump down or take the water path just follow that under the bridge 
and you'll find the chest but you're going to be running and dealing with a bunch of wheels that ricochet and they cause stunning damage also but uh all i gotta say is good luck with that boss because that actually took me forever to beat but other than that guys i hope this guide helps you if this helps you in any way i really appreciate a like and then also if you don't mind stabbing that subscribe button i have some more armor core videos for you coming but other than that check out this other armor core video and i catch you next time. Peace.